Okay, so I think I'm up. Um, here we have a shave of a looks like small papule. Um, even from low power, you can I see that there's like these, um, you know, spaces with proliferations within those spaces. Um, I think this is really good to contrast with tufted angiom I had before um, because, you know, we're really seeing what I think are vessels because I can see my blood cells. Yeah. Um, kind of collected in them. And you could sort of say that these spaces are somewhat crescenteric. Or yeah. Like, look there, there, right? Crescentic. We've yeah. got a, a, a dilated space and then a little tufted tangle of uh of capillaries pushing into that right same thing right here right there right there i mean those really do look like what glomeruli, glomeruli. i mean they really are i mean very reminiscent of glomeruli this is a great example this is like better than the book so i like i told you earlier i think that sometimes they can have some overlap but i think this one's a pretty convincing example that it's not quite as spindled and slit like as the nodules in tufted angioma Composiform management epithelioma. These are more like open little lumens tangled up in a coil together, bulging into a dilated pre existing space. So, this is what? This would be a glomeruloid mangioma. Yeah, this is glomeruloid mangioma, and these are usually associated with Poems syndrome, right? So, uh, pretty cool. I, I was just telling you guys that I've rarely seen one. I think this is better than any example I've seen in a study set or anything. That's fantastic.